Evening guys, hope everything's doing well. Hope you guys are enjoying your weekend so far. Um, I got a Yabo here to show you. Received this parcel, I think, Thursday or Friday. Um, and like many parcels I receive, I would like to do a quick unboxing, but typically I'm too eager and excited to get into it. Um, and for anyone who's ever ordered loose tobacco, um, sometimes you can smell it through the parcel. And in this in this um, situation, that was certainly the case, as the aroma from the parcel was fantastic. So I thought I had to rip open and get into it. So this was a very kind gift from a good friend, Dale Piper, otherwise known John. And thanks again, John. Um, these blends are by, L are by LJ Peretti. Um, LJ Peretti has been a blend house on my radar for a while. Um, they've always been on my radar because I've always heard such prestige from their brand, essentially. Uh, always hear great reviews and great things about everything they do. And I think it was, I think it was during 2020 when I think it was Virtual Pipe Club had a, one of their weekly Zooms and it was with LJ Perez and kind of go around the shop and get insights into the blending and kind of the history behind the house and kind of their techniques and processes was fantastic. It kind of was classic old school tobacconists that blend on site using really old, in some cases, over 100 year old, I think, um, blending recipes. It's just fantastic. So I don't know, I, I don't think I mentioned to John, he must have maybe caught on my lives where I mentioned I was interested in getting some LG pretty blends. So he gave me, in quotation marks, samples. Um, I said to him, I think his scales might have been off of it because I would say these are more than samples, they're fantastic size portions. So the first one is well, LG Pretty Ampersand Flake, probably pronouncing that wrong. Um, these are all what I believe to be straight Virginias, apart from the last one which I am pretty confident is a Virginia Preak. But so this one, the aroma from this bag is fantastic. Um, all the aromas from these bags are really sweet, some of them quite citrusly, but the quality, let's try and get a hand to it without drop it, the quality of the tobacco is fantastic. Nice rubbed out flake. So that's the first blend, look forward to digging into that. The next one is Boston Slices, again I believe this is a straight Virginia. If I recall, these two are straight Virginias with slightly different aspects to it. Um, I think predominantly being the types of Virginia used in them. Again, Boston Slices, but more of a flakes as this one. But again, quality, quality tobacco. What I find, and I've done some research, not into LJ Peretti, but I'm just assuming this is what they do. Some flakes you'll find will come in a proper flake and it's quite hard to break apart. Um, what I've learned from my recent research into a lot of German pipe tobacco is they don't use anything to kind of bind the flakes together so they kind of break apart really easily. And I, from the feel of this, I think they do the same where they don't use any additives to kind of bind the flakes and keep them, keep them in their shape because it's just fall apart, which I think is a sign of quality. So again, Boston Slices, <laughs> the sample that is here is fantastic. And again, the aroma from this bag. This one's very, to me, very citrusy and very sweet. It smells fantastic. I'm going to assume there's orange Virginias in there, maybe a bit of red and some brights. Sure, but that smells fantastic. And lastly, which is what I'm most excited about, and the flakes look fantastic, is LG Pretty 
London Flake. I might be wrong, but I'm going to wager a guess that this is a Virginia Preak. I'm confident that it is. Um, and again, the flakes here are fantastic. I'm trying to pull one out without breaking it. Oh. Proper full size flakes. Again, the quality looks fantastic, and the aroma is very similar in essence to these two, but you can smell that kind of perique richness to it that I can always detect quite often. And you see kind of the black, darker pieces through the tobacco. But yeah, these blends smell fantastic. I think London Flake might be the first one I dive into. Um, but yeah, very generous and fantastic Yabo from John. Kind of really shows why YTPC love and kind of the uh, embrace of the YTPC. I, 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 if I recall, I think John actually did a video kind of highlighting certain aspects of the YTPC. And I know from my point of view, I love most days, if I'm being honest, sitting down on YouTube, going through the YTPC, seeing what different blends people are smoking, what new pipes they've received, but also exactly what John pointed out was the different aspects in the people's lives, where they've been on holiday, where they go out for dinner, where they go on adventures, if they go, say if you go hiking, where do you go hiking in certain aspects and different hills and different landscapes. Kind of, it's really, it's a fantastic community where we don't just share pipes and tobacco and cigars. A lot of us also share we can do walking tours or drives or we can share different aspects of um, the world. Like for example, recently on my channel I've shared quite a few things about uh, tobacco shop tours on my recent holiday to Germany, kind of short tours of different tobacconists. Um, and I've got a, a kind of a short film, but it's a short film, it's like, it's like two minutes long. And it's about the tobacconist in Salzburg, but it doesn't just show the tobacconist, it also shows parts of Salzburg, the main street and kind of just, that's some of the things in the YTPC that I think are fantastic uh, and that people share. And of course, the tobacco side. Um, as I'm filming this now, this is uh, Saturday night, you should hopefully see my humidor tour. Um, tomorrow evening, if not tomorrow evening, then you can look forward to that on Monday. I uh, finally get the chance to sit down and film that properly. As I know there's a lot of people that have been asking to see that. But yeah, again, thanks a lot to John. Fantastic, fantastic. I will really look forward into diving into these blends. Although again, because they're from the States and they're not easily accessible, it's one of those things that you want to not not enjoy because you don't want to get drawn into that trap of just being in love with tobaccos that are hard to get. But at the same time, from my first impressions of the quality and the aromas, I've got a feeling I'm going to go down a little bit of a little bit of a rabbit hole. But that's perfectly fine by me. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your night and the rest of your weekend. Take care, all. Cheers.